This video will demonstrate the function and maintenance of the NTSPU safety breakaway from OPW Engineered Systems. This is a 2 inch unit in 316 stainless steel. Other materials are available depending upon your application. The NTSPU is designed to separate with a direct pull or an angular pull, protecting not only the fluid but also the loading equipment rack hoses, and personnel. The unit is made up of two halves, held together by a series of adjustable spring-loaded cams, making it suitable for any hard connection where a vehicle might pull away, causing unintended separation and a potential spill. Let's begin with a look at the external components. These are the spring-loaded cams and are adjusted by these socket head cap screws located at each cam. There is also a stop bar to prevent the unit from spinning once coupled. To disassemble, the first step is to tighten the cap screws with an Allen wrench to release the tension on the cams. Keep a hand on both sides of the unit as you depress the screws. There are spring-loaded poppets on both sides of the unit. Keep a firm grip on both halves as you disconnect. Once all cap screws are tightened, you can pull apart the unit to reveal the spring-loaded poppets. When the unit is assembled and in operation, the poppets are in the open position, allowing fluid to flow. Upon separation, the two poppets close immediately, stopping fluid loss. We will be replacing three seals. The first is an O-ring located here in the face, which seals the two halves. We also have O-rings around each of the two poppets. Take your seal pick and run it around the inside of the face, prying the O-ring out of the groove. Once you have the O-ring out, you can discard it. A new O-ring is in your seal kit. Next, we'll remove the first poppet and replace the O-ring on the inside of the NTSPU unit. We'll start by removing this locking ring. Begin by opening this safety tab. Use your needle nose pliers to open the tab, then pull the locking ring out. Once the ring is removed, you can use your fingers to pull the poppet through the unit, exposing the seal. Here we have the poppet, the spring, and the guide. This is the O-ring we want to remove and replace. Once again, take your seal pick and gently pry the seal out of the groove in the middle of the poppet. Next, we'll repeat the poppet removal process on the other, larger end of the unit. Take your needle nose pliers and open the safety tab. Then, pull the ends together to pull the locking ring out. After the ring is removed, you can again remove the poppet assembly. As with the first poppet, we'll remove this O-ring seal. Use your seal pick to pull the O-ring out. If the seal breaks, it's not a problem. You'll be replacing it. Discard the old seal and clean the groove to prepare it for the new seals provided in your seal kit. Here, we see all of the parts of the NTSPU safety breakaway disassembled and ready for seal replacement. We have the two halves of the body, the poppets that are on either side, the springs, and the spring guides. And we have our seals ready the two poppet seals and this larger O-ring that goes here in the face of the body. Before replacing O-rings, you always want to clean the grooves and make sure you have any loose particles removed. You want a nice, smooth, clean surface for proper seating. Take your first poppet O-ring and gently roll it over the end and into the groove. Once in the groove, it's very important to press that seal firmly in place to avoid a bulge that can lead to pinching the seal and potentially causing a leak. Once the seal is firmly in place, place the spring and poppet guide over the end and slide it into the body of the unit. While holding the poppet guide in place, you'll use your spring ring pliers to guide the spring ring down inside the body and seat it into the groove. Once in place, you will use your pliers to bend back the safety tab, as seen here. We'll do the same procedure with the other poppet, cleaning the groove and then rolling the O-ring into the groove, firmly pressing the seal in place to assure a secure, leak-free seating. Place the spring over the poppet, replace the spring guide, and then slide the poppet assembly back into the body of the unit. 
Once in place, insert the spring ring and bend the safety tab back into position. Now you are ready to replace the face seal. Press the new O-ring into the groove inside the face of the unit, firmly pressing it into place and then put a little seal lubricant on both sides where the coupler will go together. This allows the flange to glide into the face of the unit during reassembly. To reattach, align the poppets, making sure the stop bar is aligned with the hole in the unit. Once the two halves are joined, we can release the spring tension on the cams by removing the set screws. Use your Allen wrench and go around the base, removing each set screw and put them in a safe place. We recommend complete removal to make sure there is no spring tension on any of the cams. To attach the two halves of the unit for operation, begin by tightening the cap screws, which will open the cams. Carefully clean the flange and O-ring seal around the poppets, and then put a little seal lubricant on each side. Once you have the stop bar lined up, press the two halves together until firmly engaged. While holding the two halves together, remove all of the cap screws, releasing spring tension and allowing the cams to move back into place. Put the screws in a safe place. The NTSPU is designed to release and break away safely, instantly shutting both sides of the connection. And as you can see, very little fluid is lost, usually as little as a teaspoon or less. The NTSPU safety breakaway makes your connections safer, cleaner, faster. From OPW Engineered Systems, 